Welcome back. I'm working on a lot of videos that have to do with numbers from one through nine and what that means and how that ties into your life. But I've been compelled to talk about the number seven. Seven means a lot to me. And obviously the name of this channel is Seven Circles. So I can go all into that. But I want to talk about seven and the significance of it and what that has to do with your life. But I don't want to go into detail because I'm going to make a quick video on that. But I want to tie it into your chakra system and also how seven is the number of completion we know that in the music tone we have seven main notes from a to g we know that in the rainbow we have roy g biv which is red orange yellow green blue indigo violet we know that we have seven base metals in alchemy we know that in the most popular school of thought we have seven chakras which are your energy centers okay uh, I talked about this in another video, but when you eat food, it actually breaks down into seven parts. You have food, then it goes from blood to blood plasma, to fat to muscle, to bone to bone marrow, and then to um, ujas, known as sexual energy. That's the final expression, right? There's so many sevens, so many sevens. But what's interesting also is that we have seven stars in the Big Dipper. And those actually guide your life as well, too, because a lot of times people think that we're just guided by the sun and the moon, but we're also guided by the stars. And you also have seven. This is mainly kind of what I want to tie it into. When you look at a plant, right, a tree, a plant or something like that, a plant goes into seven stages of unfoldment, seven stages of unfoldment. So it starts out as the seed, but then you have the root. OK, the root comes out. Then you have the stem, then you have the leaf, you have the bud, you have the flower, and then you go back to the fruit, okay, which is also the seed. But the fruit and the seed are a little bit different, but kind of kind of similar, kind of similar. Kind of like if you have a mango, you got the fleshy part, the, the part that we eat, but then you actually have the mango seed itself. Or you got the apple, but then you also have apple seeds as well too. So seven stages from the seed to the root to the stem to the leaf. Um, the leaf, the bud, the flower, and then the fruit. Okay, so seven stage seven is is big. It's really really big, and I'm gonna go deeper into it once I do my whole entire series about numbers. But why did I want to talk about this? Why was I compelled to talk about this? Well, I wanted to talk about it because a lot of people are talking about the chakra system, and I touched on that briefly. And you know, as many schools of thought, some would say we have. 360 chakras, someone say we have 144, someone say we have 12, someone say we have 13. There are many ways to look at it, but the most common is seven. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on today. And when you look at it, the chakra system, and you look at the unfoldment of a plant, okay, a lot of people are focused on the third eye, right? Oh, I got that third eye, I got that third eye open, right? Uh, a lot of people focus on the heart, open your heart center, right? And these are important, don't get me wrong. Some people might even say open up the solar plexus. And then you hear a few people talk about opening up the root chakra. Well, think about this. When it comes to the plant, right, and you got the the, the um, seed, but then you also have the root. If you don't have the root, then you don't have any plant. If I cut off the root of this tree, it's done. The whole tree is not going to be here. And the tree wouldn't be here. If it didn't go down into the ground first, if it didn't actually become rooted, right? Because it has to connect to the earth energy. And it's the same thing with us. We can focus on the third eye. We can focus on the throat chakra, the heart, and whatever else have you. But unless if you get rooted down, okay, into the energies of the earth and then come up from there, you're going to get washed away. In fact, you're not even going to get started. You might think you are. You might get little glimpses here and there, but you have to get rooted down in, into the earth. So even if you look at the root chakra, it's called mula. And mula means the, the, the root. There's something called the mula bandha, right? The mula bandha in yoga. Those who are involved in yoga, you might know what I'm talking about. So the root chakra. Now, I wanted to talk about the root chakra because uh, the root chakra has to do with survival. It, has, it also has to do with fear. It has to do with the beginning stages in life. I made a video before talking about how the chakra system is a story. And when you first come out, when you're getting started, you're trying to figure out how to survive. You're trying to figure out 
how to get how to get rooted. And so, if you're a person, right, this is like a barometer to find out if you are uh, secure in your root chakra. So, if you're a person and if you're struggling financially, if you cannot support yourself, right, if you are having issues with surviving, and maybe you're like a vine, right, because a vine doesn't go through photosynthesis. A vine actually survives by looking for a host. That's why you see them, you know, climbing on trees and other plants because they get their substance, they get their nutrition from trees and other plants. They don't get it through photosynthesis the way that a tree does. So some people are like vines, or you would say a leech or a vampire or whatever. Some people are like vines, right? That they can't survive by themselves, so they find a host. But as a tree, right? As a tree, you should be able to survive by yourself. You should be able to get your energy directly from the cosmos, right? So if you're a person that's having issues with surviving, then you need to take a look at your root chakra. If you're having a person, if you're a person that, you know, um, just, you know, uh, is having a really, really hard time, having a hard time, whatever that could be, whatever that is, right? As far as, um, you know, ho finding a home, uh, paying the bills, finding a way to just sustain yourself. Basic 101 of life, self-preservation. Take a, take a look at your root chakra. That also has to do with, you know, your sexual energy as well, but not so much because that's more moving up towards your sacral chakra, your, your second chakra. But, uh, hey, really, 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 really good place to look at. Really good place to look at. And then once you get rooted, right, then you can start to climb up higher and higher. Then you can go to your sacral. Then you can go to your your solar plexus. Then you can go to your heart. Then you can go to your, your throat and your third eye, etc. But, again, focus on the root chakra because I think that that's the most important right now. I think that's the most important.